Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Time Soups Podcast. I'm Gary. I'm Wyatt. And I'm Connor. And this week, we're talking about man's best friend and other pets we've had over the years. And we're back. All right. So, where do we want to start? With our oldest pets or our most current ones? What's Besides the pet that you have now, what's the most memorable pet that you've ever had? Memorable? Mem- memorable. Probably the last dog I used to have. But he that's because he had so many issues, to say the mm-hmm. least. Uh, I don't know about you guys if you wanted to answer that question first, but I can go ahead and start just talking about him. Yeah, go for it. Go. I, I like ever. He was obviously he was around before I was born, mm-hmm. and my parents got him at essentially what was a puppy mill. He was an American Eskimo, all white, and he had his parents were how do you say from the same litter, I believe. Oh, so he was inbred. But okay. purebred. So technically, we did have the papers for him. Purebred. He was a purebred American Eskimo. But, like, if they didn't adopt him that day, they would have killed him. He would be dead. Mm-hmm. And he wouldn't have lived the life that he was supposed to have. They said he wasn't going to live to see 14 years. Or, no, they said he wouldn't live to see 12, and he ended up living 14. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, he ended up beating the relative odds for him because he had cool. bad hips his whole life. Mm-hmm. Allergic to most things. We had to feed him specifically. <laughs> I'll turn that down. Sorry about that. But yeah, we had to. Sp- oh my <laughs> lord, that's all. That's all. Uh, purebred dogs, though. We what? had we had to feed him. Yeah, venison meat though, because he couldn't handle anything like else. Normal dog food. He could not. Well, he could handle kibble, but like you know, give it wet and stuff. And he that's the only one he could handle. And then it didn't help that he was technically blind in one eye. Mm. And he hated thunderstorms. And one of my earliest memories of him, just besides existing and being, you know, big, soft dog, or not even big, he was just there. And in my memory, he was large because I was a toddler. You were were small, yes. And uh, he was horrified, hated thunder, absolutely hated thunder. And it was one stormy night, and he bursted into my room. Like, the door was cracked a little, and the door flung open. And then he jumps on my bed and starts running and circling <laughs> and then leaves the room. And it was the scaredest I was ever been at that point in my life. Because there is thunder and lightning, rain mm-hmm. hitting the windows. I get woken up in the middle of the night. It is pitch black. Your and here like, comes this, <laughs> this white mob of... Running around the room, scaring the crap out of me. Aww. But yeah, he... And at that point, you were it was just your room. Your brother wasn't born yet. Yeah, no, he didn't. He wasn't even a fetus yet. Yeah. It was before. <laughs> That's a weird way to put that. Hey, um, it's tr- it's a true statement. Yeah, I know. It was before he was a thought at all. For think, you, at least. Well, yeah. I think even, like, for my parents. It was before he was even a relative idea of something that could exist. Mm. Other than being like, yeah, we could have another kid. Yeah. Other than that. But he he lived a better life than what was going to be given to him if we if they didn't adopt him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember going with my dad to put him down because I didn't think it was right if I didn't go. Yeah. So, like, I was there in the room when they did the whole needle yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or at least the sleep part before they gave him, you know, the actual goodbye juice. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's how I'm Goodbye juice. Crazy. But immediately after that, we also went over to look at all the new, like, kittens and puppies and stuff because it made my dad feel better, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it, it was, it well, was sometimes it helps pe- it helps uh people who lose a dog to just fill that void with another one right right away yeah that's how kind of how For my example, family did it yeah. yeah i think my my mom she wanted some time to yeah. just mellow out for a little yeah. bit yeah it uh, i i kind of i mean it at first i mean i love my new dog cc but whenever my parents were like oh yeah we're going to get a new dog today i'm like what it's been a f- freaking week <laughs> can we all grieve for like five freaking minutes? i think it was from like sixth grade to eighth grade that i went because i remember yeah. it being the october of eighth grade Aww. i was in the car rider line and i opened up the back door to put my trumpet in the car and i was like oh sweet jesus there's a new dog in the car Aww. it's that little and that's your new uh, dog my, my cat dog yeah schnitzel you're a cat dog Aww. and i wasn't expecting him so i like like freaked out and like 
he was super punched smart. him in the face almost because <laughs> <laughs> i opened all. the door and he like he went essentially like the dog equivalent of ah. Oh! <laughs> he just started barking <laughs> scared the crap out of me and my mom's just like in the fr- driver's seat laughing and it's like no there's a dog in the car <laughs> i didn't expect it and like I, I still don't think getting him was as fun as a story of like when we got my cat but i can get to that later um well i had this uh it's probably not my most memorable dog i mean he is my most memorable dog but he's not like the favorite dog i've ever had um you, I don't know if you, you, I don't know if you ever met Caesar. I, I don't think I, I, I did. never meet Caesar either. You never did either. I had this great day when I was a kid, and I love this dog. He was, he was like a hundred and seventy three pound dog. He was over six two on his hind legs. Just he, all mean, those dogs. He, he was a Gary sized dog, right? Um, like he, but like I wasn't that big. I mean, I was big for a kid, but I wasn't big for like a a person yet you know like so like that dog bullied like not bullied me purposefully but like he'd pull me around yeah like um though something about those big dogs they they think they're lap dogs for some reason like for real like he would come sit on your lap i'm like dude you weigh like almost 200 pounds like get off me (laughs) like um i i I don't think i could have wrestled with him like i do zion now obviously well obviously but like because that that dog would just, he would just one, slap, one paw just, he would just like slapped you in the get face. Get the heck out of my been, face! You would have been knocked out. <laughs> but another thing about those big dogs is that they are so much of a lover lover dog rather yeah. than like they are not aggressive at all. Like, Unless you raise them to be aggressive, right, exactly. But that's just because they're one, they're really lazy. All the mastiffs, all the like Great Danes, oh, all, yeah. the, all the ma- oh, yeah. all the pretty big dogs are. They're uh, <laughs> they're 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 pretty lazy dogs. Um, they don't have a lot of energy. <laughs> Where were we? Um, uh, Caesar. Caesar. Lap dog. Being and what a name lazy. for a dog yeah. that big as well. And, like, he was majestic. Like, so just see, like... In, like Position of power and right, emperor. Right, exactly. And he would sit with his, like, uh, with his butt on the couch full. Like, on his his butt, his whole hat backside was on the, on the couch. And his paws were on the floor. When he sat on the couch, like a Great Dane or something, like a Great Dane or something. It was. I just thought it was the funniest thing. That that like dog Scoob. was so funny. But I had a dog before him, that my mom and dad got like a one or two years before I was born. Uh, it was a little corgi, and her name was Corky. And I'd uh, love to get a corgi. She was the one of the smartest. Do- she's. I don't think she's as smart as Zion is, but like she one was, of the smartest dogs you've had yeah and i've only have really had only had three my whole life which we're going to talk about all of them today at some point but this dog so we didn't have a backyard at the old gladstone house i don't know did you ever go to that house i don't think i ever yeah, actually I went. went there I went. but you i know connor has a whole yeah, bunch that, that, I, that say, I never really went anywhere i know if we you hung out a, we usually hung you, out you at a, connor's you, house yeah i mean like even as a child though i think there was only like one person's house i ever really went to that wasn't family Mm. it's one of those things right uh actually no i take that back there was like two people anyway but this dog like we didn't have a backyard so we'd open the front door and she'd go do her business and come back inside and then but every once in a while she'd run off on us and my dad it, she ran off on my dad once and uh she didn't come back so we went to bed and he, on his way out to work in the morning there was a black dog like th- you know what color cor- corgis are yeah they're, like they're orange and white there was this black dog on the front porch, and he's like, what the f-? <laughs> She was caked in mud and, like, probably just, crap just and, like, just dirt. Like, she was she was different. He was like, I thought she was a different dog at first. I was like, get off here. And so, like, my, my dad was uh, still on time for work because he usually went in three hours early. But, like, he had to, like, give her a bath before he went to work and stuff. But those dogs, we love those dogs, and... We care for those dogs, but those dogs did not. I don't think those dogs had the best lives while they were with us because they were in their kennel a lot most of the day while my dad was working or or they were not with us because my dad was out of town. So he'd take them somewhere for them to stay. Um, I don't know. But I, I love those dogs. I'll remember them for the rest of my life. Uh where do you end up? Did you? you well, ended Caesar, up gave, Caesar, Caesar got given away, and Corky got hit by a car. Oh, really? Which oh. is, that's like, that's my, that's why I hate when like they'll let Zion out when I get home to come greet me, like outside, like because 
it's just my biggest fear to lose another dog to a car. Yeah. So you want to hear the story about how I got told that Corky got hit by a car? Uh, I don't know if you've heard it before. I don't think I've heard this story. No. Okay, so I thought you were just afraid of it. I don't know if I knew that you actually had a dog get hit. Yeah, Corky got hit, but so I was headed to a football game for back when we played. I played little league, um, and I'm we're like gonna be late. I'm like, Dad, what's going on? He's like, just stay inside. It's fine. I had no idea what was going on. Um, so we go, we leave, we win the game. So I'm like, oh. hy- I'm hyped up. Oh. I'm ready to go. Like I'm like, Dad, I'm ready to take down the world right now. And then he's like, so I didn't want to tell you this before the game because I didn't want you to affect your performance. But Corey got hit by a car. I was like, oh, pff, pff, waterworks immediately just crushed. So, I was gonna say, luckily I never had that happen with all two yeah. dogs. Yeah. <laughs> right. But. I don't know, but I've been through three cats, so that's something. Yeah, three cats, three cats. Damn, on cat, the third, and cats live long time. What? Well, yeah, two of them were at the same time though, so I mean, oh well, yeah, and they were still they were way alive before I was around. Okay. So yeah. What about the third one? Third one, that's the one I have now. She's deaf and she's the weird. one that perches your brother like a pe- a parrot on. Yeah, her. no, she sits on Logan like a, uh, she like like a parrot. She on. is attached to him. Oh, I thought you were like you've been through three cats. No, and, like, like counting one the current died. one. Okay. No, like, yeah, one got uh, chewed the wire to the Christmas tree. One, <laughs> <laughs> one got hit with liquid nitrogen. We don't ask. <laughs> um, yeah. What, what about you? I mean, I, I think had... we know. I think me and Wyatt know your most memorable dog. Yeah. Well, like, I mean, I had fish and also dogs. Always I've never had a fish. cat. I had fish, too, but, like, <laughs> not for a very long time. Because um, cause you – did you forget to feed them? Well, yeah. <laughs> but there were always those beta fish. Yeah. And, and they were like, always blue. And yeah. I like SpongeBob oh, so. a lot. So they were all named Squidward. Yeah. Because Squidward was blue. And they Squidward. never I never had – they never had yellow beta fish for yeah. SpongeBob. I had a couple Patrick's. I had a couple Patrick's. They all, they're all, they all got flushed down the toilet. <laughs> Every single one of them. I had beta fish. I had this little like ten gallon tank for them on the counter. I don't know what my parents were thinking, because it they knew I wasn't gonna feed it. So it was most of the time they forgot to feed it, but it was my fish. But I didn't have fish again until uh, w- later in life, and they weren't my fish. But we had tons of fish. I don't know. Yeah. Like. We had so many fish, like yeah. multiple 75-gallon bucket, uh, buckets, 75-gallon yeah. tanks of fish. Huh. You never went to that house. Yeah. It was I, the, the Cove's house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I – uh. damn. I mean, I ha- I've had three dogs so far. I mean, one kind of like you guys – it was around before I was born. My mom got them in college – or got her in college. Uh, looks like – uh, my aunt had gotten him, but she had also just had a kid, and my mom was like, "You don't need a dog. You just had a kid. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're you're 16. What 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 are you doing?" <laughs> and she, so my mom took him, and or her, jeez, her her name is Teddy, or mm-hmm. was Teddy. Uh, she was kind of crazy. So like, I was gonna say, I remember uh, stories about this apparently one. Teddy. Like, and her little puppy self growled at my mom's landlord whenever she was in college. And she, Uh-oh. like, whenever she was introducing, and she got, like, I was like, all right. And my mom's landlord was like, gee, thanks, Shelly. <laughs> but, um, because they weren't really allowed to have that many dogs. Oh. And my, uh, mom's roommates already had one each. So, um, anyway. Three dogs walk into an apartment. But yeah, T- Teddy wasn't. I mean, we we toler- She tolerated me, but she didn't really like me. Mm-hmm. Now Fudge, my next dog. She put her on my, for as long as was, we've known each other. Yeah, almost. she. I mean, I got her in like was I think it was first grade, and so uh, literally almost as long. Yeah, as she as she lived for fourteen years. Yeah. Like she, she was a good dog. Mm-hmm. I mean. In her later years, kind of freaking batshit. Like, she uh, would stare. She, one of her favorite things to do was stare at my dad while he sat in his chair and just look at him. <laughs> if you've ever seen uh, the sitcom 
was it Frazier? Like Cody the dog just staring at I think Frazier. That, yeah, I think that yeah. Yeah, like that it was like that. And it was like my my dad was her person. Like mm-hmm. he he was her favorite. Um and yeah, she she was just a really good dog. I uh I don't know. I mean, she didn't really snuggle all that much. Uh, but, like, she would get really excited whenever we came home. And then she would just, like, oh, yeah. jump on us. And, uh, I mean, she didn't really play with toys all that much either. She was just more like, I sit and I stare until you do something with me. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Until you pet me. And she did. She loved the butt scratches more than anything in the world. Mm-hmm. And if you scratched her butt, you were her friend. Yep. No matter what. And then she, I think she got some form of dementia because she kind of forgot everyone other than my family. Like she would like she bought she barked at these two like a lot. And then she even bit Gary once. Not like bad. Like, I know, it was like, but like, 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 the, still. like the front teeth type of. Yeah, hurt. it was like, like a, a like a hurting gnaw on you for a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, she got pretty senile and independent in her old age. Yeah, she uh just like me. Just like me. Yeah, this is like like this dog was actually like kind of like my first experience losing someone. I mean, I lose I lost my uncle. He fell down a flight of stairs and died. But well, he, my uncle Jay, he wasn't really my uncle, but like yeah, like I I've lost someone before. I mean, but I as, uh, Jay was cool, but I never really I wasn't as close to him. Yeah. Um, but this is like my first time, like really losing mm-hmm. some someone that was around and I really cared about. And I remember the because she had had a tumor come up. Yep. And uh, we had gotten it removed before, but it came back and it got worse. And it, I remember the morning she like she went outside and just laid in the grass because it was cold. Mm-hmm. And the grass was cold, and she was like, like sweating and dry heaving and stuff. And I went to school, and then my mom called me. This is like weeks ago. November that this happened. And then my mom called me. She's like, "Hey, you should probably come home." And then they told me that they put her down, and they didn't really want to wait too long because they didn't really want to wait, have to wait for me. Because they were just like, yo, she was in pain. I was like, yeah, do it. you're good. <laughs> I cried for like 45 minutes, but I already had my goodbye that morning. So. Right. It's yeah. just losing a dog. Yeah. In general. Especially it's just, watching. It's, it's, it's like it's different than a person in a way. It's yeah. so. Uh huh. Because a person, they will, you know, there's always qualities of yourself that they don't like. But like a dog, they don't know those qualities. Yeah, they they love you unconditionally, unabashedly love you. Exactly. Like they they will be in your corner. They will they will literally rip someone's throat out for you. Yeah. You you can't like there's humans obviously that'll do that with you. Yeah. But like dogs, if you if you're with a dog just right, they won't question it. Exactly. No. They are your partner in crime. Yeah. It's if it's throat ripping time, it's throat ripping time. <laughs> exactly. So. Like a like a trunk monkey, like a but, trunk monkey, <laughs> trunk yeah. monkey. But they uh, then a f- few days, I think it was like a week or two later, uh, we got Cece, and Cece was is a really good puppy. She's she's really funny. Um, you guys haven't met her yet. We we got a we, we got a. We haven't hung out at your house in like forever. I know dude. it's because we've been doing the podcast here, and that's we've gotten our hangout quota. We gotta find a day that we aren't doing the podcast and hang out. I know it's gonna be even harder coming up soon. Why? Because school starts Ew, back up, and you remember don't cease. Stop and I told talking. you about the way my drawing class is. Oh yeah, his drawing class goes to it's five. It's from three to five because it's, it's the only way I can fit it into my schedule. It's disgusting. Because botany takes place the other drawing class. You chose, draw, you chose botany over drawing. <laughs> well, I need another science class. I know. I don't I need know. another art class. I know. I. But I need those credits. Yeah. But, are you are you good, Gary? <laughs> yeah, I'm just sitting okay. here. Okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, she's really good dog. Um. 
She doesn't like listening to me, though. I think since I play with her a lot, I think she thinks I'm her peer. But See, when I, she listens to my sister I, I, and my I do mom. Know that. But, like, whenever I was like, Cece, come. Come on. Let's go inside. She just looks at me like, no, Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> no, ball. I'm... And she loves sticks to the point yeah. where, like, she'll eat them and then mm-hmm. choke on them. So she can't have them. So we got her one of those, like, you know, those chew sticks. <laughs> That's yeah. Why I'm not well, so outside either. Uh, Kirsten and Jordan's dog, uh, Ladybird, uh, would go hang out with Jordan in his wood shop. Yeah. And Jordan would throw scrap pieces of wood to the Ladybird, and she'd sit in there and gnaw on him. Yeah. I hope you know, as soon as I heard Ladybird, my mind went to King of the Hill. Yeah. You could just hear Hank Hill's voice. Do they still have Ladybird? Lady Bird. Do they still what? have Ladybird? Uh, Jordan's parents has her. Okay. And she's a she's a poopy head now. She's like she's oh. not well behaved at all. But yeah, you're a poopy head. You're a yeah. poopy. Head. <laughs> <laughs> you're a poopy head. Have you seen? Have you seen? That? It's the angry video game nerd, isn't it? No, but they like layered it. Like it goes <laughs> where the guy pans up, and he's the guy standing at his window. And he goes, "You're gonna, you're gonna yell at me. You're gonna honk at me and flip me off for you driving like a dumbass." And he goes, "You're a poopy head." <laughs> Punches his window. <laughs> God, I'll find it for you. I'll, I'll find it for you. Driving like an asshole, and you want to videotape me? Fuck you. You're a poopy head. Oh, My favorite God. traffic video, though, is a uh, the one clip where the dudes are yelling at each other, and he's like, you're going to drive like that? And cut me off, and the dude just pulls out a gun. <laughs> and the car just stops and like, goes yeah, back. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. All That's right. funny. Um, what else we got? Why talk about some cats, man. Talk about some cats. We haven't talked We've been dog heavy. All right. You're the only one of us that owns cats. Because I, I, I refuse I en- to own cats. I enjoy a good cat because they're nice and warm when you want them to be. And they're nice and warm when you don't want them to be. But, like, I when and I was... cold-hearted when you do want them not yeah. to be. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's exactly it. I... So... Grammar. <laughs> when, I was, when I was little, before I was born, there were two cats. A black one and a white one. And the white one was fat and kind of a jerk. And the black one, he was cool. Why oh, back to poopy. cats. But these cats, we, we could only, when I was little, before I was born, apparently, they got along with each other just fine. But we had to separate them during the day. So, like, at the night. The two cats that passed away? Yeah. Okay. So, at night, the white one, he would be put away, and at night, the black one would come out. See, we kept the black one upstairs and the white one downstairs. Okay. But during the day, the white one got to walk around. My parents, like, my dad took in that cat because he felt bad for it. Because it was a roommate's cat that he just left. My dad was mm. like, "I'm gonna raise this cat better than he can." So, good fight for the, me. Good for the cat, I guess. <laughs> right. And it was it was a cat, like as bad as it sounds. Like think of every stereotype. Mm-hmm. It was pretty much that. Fat, lazy, sat around. It was a, it was a tom cat. <laughs> and, and, if it had and, a farm, uh, it would have been perfect. I mean, and, but we had a suburban house. Which ones? The tom cat, the gray ones. No, I mean like that as a phrase that like it was just kind of a. Oh okay. Walk around strut. I'm, I'm thinking gonna, tabby cat. Aren't I? Maybe. I think tabbies can technically be in more colors. It's just about like the way that it's oriented and stuff. Mm. Anyway. He was just a big, fat, white cat. Apparently, when he was younger, you could see the muscles under his fur. Really? He was a toned cat. And then the black one was also kind of like that when he was younger. But he got really skinny. Uh-oh. He, yeah. He ended up being sick. Mm. They had to put him down because of that. And my dad still has his ashes because that was his cat. Mm-hmm. That's why he came out at night. When everybody else was at bed, my dad used to work nights, so he'd come home at 3 a.m. His cat was waiting for him. That was his cat. That cat's name was Sid. And he got that cat. He traded that cat. Like, he got that cat out of a trade for a rabbit. For a rabbit? He hated the rabbit. Rabbit tried to kill him. Why well, did the rabbit try to kill him? It was a horrible albino rabbit that was just large. And at one point, it chewed on the wires to a lamp next to its cage. Uh-oh. And the wires were touching the metal cage. And the rabbit wasn't going near the bars. Oh, and it shocked your dad? Yeah, my dad went to go <laughs> touch it, and he got the entire voltage from the lamp. So he touches it, and he was, drops it. Apparently. Jeez. So, yeah, the rabbit tried to kill him. That's when you drop kick the rabbit. So, yeah, he, he almost did. Well, that's when you just take the cat and give the rabbit to the cat. Essentially, he, fun he, time. he traded the rabbit out to get this cat. 
any this was his cat it would even before i was born apparently it would like just play with him all the time he would like hide and try to attack wow. him and everything why did it change when you were born he got old oh yeah he he was put down before my brother was born oh so that like i was very young for his existence mm. but apparently his kid is the black failing. cat yeah but what about what were you saying his kidneys started to fail oh uh. that's why they had to put him down and my dad kept his ashes because that was his cat. Right. Like, his ultimate favorite cat. My grandparents, well, my grandpa, who notoriously hates cats, even like that cat. That was just the way it was. I don't know why. There was this one cat that my aunt had. Um, um, this black cat. And this was the coolest cat. Like, probably the only cat that I ever met that I liked a lot. Like, I mean, this cat were cool. And I've only ever been like close with this like one cat ever, and it was this cat, and like he died like forever ago, but like, and he wasn't my cat, so. It's because my grandparents used to have three cats at one point because they lived on a farm, so they lived mm-hmm. outside, and they just took care of the mice and everything. Yeah. They were the kind of cats that really enjoyed doing it, though. So they'd bring the ha- half of a mouse up to the front door. <laughs> Always half, never whole. There was a. They took their cut. There was a litter of kittens running around my my dad's neighborhood right now like 10 or 12 of them dude those are the best well so like there's two ladies there's one up the road for me and there's one across our backyards connect and like so they're like a couple acres away from us but we can still see the back of their house and uh they're feeding these cats and my dad's get so mad at them because he's like don't feed them because then they have full bellies and they won't chase these mice around and that's the only whole reason that I want them around is to kill oh, these no. mice. They'll chase them for sport. <laughs> cats love to kill. That's why they'll play with you like they're attacking you. Right. If cats are big enough. Cats are very weird. Cause well, cats are big enough. Right. Well. <laughs> Some cats. Yeah. There's, like, cats are similar in the face of how I see reptiles. Except cats are cute enough that I'm willing to just accept them. You don't think they're not always cute? He's an exception. <laughs> Most reptiles, because I like turtles, mm-hmm. but snakes, I hate snakes. Most oh, I lizards, like snakes I either. do not like lizards. Because I think that, like, even if Nanawe was big enough, he would not think twice about eating us. <laughs> Same what with What do you cat. think dinosaurs are? They're birds. <laughs> <laughs> and they wouldn't think twice either. Right. Birds show more compassion. Why? Not all they birds. Can, they can talk. Some of them. But some of them, they... My they, neighbor had a bird... And they used to go tell us to go F ourselves. <laughs> I swear <laughs> to God. Like, she would be like, go F yourself. Yeah, right. Literally. Like, literally. This, and they would sit there and, like, squawk all day long. But, like, cr- crows can apparently mimic. Yeah, they can. They'll, so they actually scream. That's their favorite thing to do because it'll bring people to them if they're in trouble. Every yeah. time I'm in the streets, I hear. Ah, 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 ah. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, like birds, they they have to have compassion to like live with each other. Mm-hmm. So I think you could reason with some dinosaurs, right? Well, but not the, all of them, of course. Um, and then like birds that's, that's can like outlive another day. outlive their owners. Yeah, because oh, some parrots can too. But like some parrots, they'll live to like seventy eight. Right. Well, that's crazy. And crazy to owners me. will get them when they're like in their having their midlife crisis in their forties, and their kids right. are stuck with this blue parrot. And there's turtles, you know, like Charles Darwin's well, died like, so recently. I embarked on a new Charles Darwin's a new tortoise. Uh, it died recently. Aww. Recently, it's like in the past few years, though. So, so like, uh, I've always owned mammals, dogs. Yeah. I had a hamster once. That thing died. Uh, <laughs> I didn't kill it. It died of old age, but I wasn't the owner at the end of its life because I didn't take care of it. Um, I only ever owned mammals, and I I know dogs really well, as in like I know. Like how to you take care of You can trust a dog. You I can could, take care I, of a you dog. You can give me any dog, and I could train it, and I could take care of it the best I can, right? So I wanted a new challenge because I was tired of having dogs all the time. Not that poor, dogs poor are bad. Zion. I love dogs. Poor I Zion. love dogs. I love Zion. <laughs> Zion's probably one of the best dogs ever. Not I've ever owned. Probably one of the best dogs ever. I, I really like him. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, in it. he's so smart. That he's stupid sometimes, you yeah. know. He's like that kind of smart. Yeah. Um, like, it's over there, and he's like looking everywhere, but like he's not smart enough. To just look up at your finger and be like, "Oh, it's that way." Like you know, um, <laughs> he he has the uh, he inte- he has phrases. the intelligence, but, not the IQ. Right, and so like, <laughs> I I I love Zion, but I don't get to take him with me when I when I move out. Right, he's my parents' dog, 
Like he's my dog, but he's really he's my parents' dog. So I wanted to get a pet that I could take care of because I wanted to get another dog, but no f- family family was like Nobby, too bad. And I mean that's kind of we tried it once way. and it was Zion's really an only only child kind of like because like he attached to like unlike most dogs that are in a family like Zion's breeds are like the breeds that he's mixed with are considered the best family dogs because they attach not to the family. They don't attach to one person. Yeah, like in the a family. pack unit. Right. Um, he's half, half lab, half collie. So like they're, they're like, he, he loves everyone equally. Like he's not like, he'll listen to web more, but that's cause web's like the alpha in the house, you know, yeah. in quotation marks. So like web is like his, like I have to listen to this guy or stuff's going to happen. Um, I have to raise my voice for him to, to listen to me. Like, I can't just be like, stop it. Or he like, he'll be like, okay, we're playing. Let's go. Yeah. But so anyway, I wanted to embark on this new challenge. So I got really into these bearded dragon things. Um, I did all the sorts of research and I knew it was going to take a long time to even convince my mom to let me get a, re- a reptile in the house. Cause like, she's not about it, but now it's like her favorite thing, which I told her it would be. I was like, I'm going to get this thing and it's going to become your best friend. <clears throat> And my mom will go down there when I'm gone. She'll feed it for me, and she'll, like, pick it up and handle it. Um, and then we, I, re- I got just really lucky with the pick because there was, like, eight or nine in the little uh, Miles of Exotics. Shout out to them. Great business in Kansas City. They get all their stuff locally bred. Um, anyway, um, there was, like, and I picked this one, and, like, he's super chill. He's really nice. Um, doesn't really try to bite it, bite at you. He's not aggressive. But that's also just because I've – handled them and tried to work with them a lot um but this guy like this is like opened a whole new door for me like i don't think i ever will but like i could get other reptiles um there's this really cool reptile that i will never own because i'll never have space for it it's called black and white tegu it's basically like a small komodo dragon but it's black and white spec. Like it looks like you know when you flip oh, paint on I, a canvas. Yeah, I know exactly what you're like talking about. Like a Pollock type deal. Right. Yeah. It looks like that all over. That's cool. Um, and they're they're freaking rad. Like, uh, but I'll never own one because they get like four feet long, Ooh. which is like pretty big for yeah. a lizard. It's a dog sized that lizard. That's bigger yeah. than my dog. Right. My current dog. <laughs> it's um, like a Miss Kipling, Mr. Kipling type deal. Right. Um, I don't know. I think she was just. A, what was she? In, in that show, I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Either. Kipling. Uh, it was Mrs. Kipling because she had babies. Yeah, but that was like a later thing, wasn't and it? And speaking of that sort of situation, that happens a lot of people like mis Gendering. misgendering their lizard. Um, I just saw a meme on Reddit where it was like <laughs> this: this bearded dragon was sitting on top of the eggs, and the caption was, "Well, his name was George, because <laughs> like, well, it's a girl, so I have to." Uh, I still don't completely know what na- uh, what gender my lizard is, but I just named him Nanawe because I thought it sounded general neutral enough to where it didn't matter, so I don't have to change it ever. Um, but yeah, lizards are cool. He's really chill. He'll come sit with me while I edit the podcast or um, play video games. He can't. You can't cuddle with him like a dog, though. It's because he's a lizard. But what can you expect? Like you. You know what you can cuddle, Gary? What? A cat. I will kick a cat before I ever own one. You've got to meet the right cat. God. You just need to meet the right cat, dude. (laughs) I've never met a cat that I liked. Because my grandpa would talk about taking cats. Actually, our friend Ashton's cat. um, Ashton's cat? Yeah. uh, She was pretty cool. But the only thing I didn't like about his cat was that she came and sat on my leg right here. And she kind of just like put her claws in yeah. me as in like she was like needed trying to make biscuits right oh, yeah. on my leg real talk I was about like, i'm gonna i'm like ashton i'm gonna kick your cat if you don't get her she's really nice and soft but get her off me or i'm gonna punch her i've got a like, real thing about cats real quick i hate that term why when people are like oh they're ma- they're making dough they're making biscuits i hate that why? i hate it why so much because just call it needing one word it is needing isn't that what they're i said needing the dough i think that's what you said i said needing but i hate that when I... people are like oh they're a little they're a little baker it's like you see i don't baby talk animals i think that's weird i don't baby talk babies because i think you... it's weird <laughs> i mean it, it there's actually science that proves that it kind of messes with development if you baby talk but yeah well yeah because that's then they because then they never stop baby talking 
They'll talk like this forever. Like Adam Sandler. <laughs> actually, that's a character. I shouldn't say that to him. I've actually grown more respect for Adam Sandler. You didn't like. You used to not like Adam Sandler. I didn't. But I've always like, loved as Adam a human Sandler. being, I have more respect for him. His comedy career, I still have about the same amount of respect for. What but took Uncuffed that? Gems, what made you take the turn? Good. He's an okay guy. He's nice. He is really nice. But his comedy is like God, man. You don't like the? Has it changed in <laughs> almost thirty years? Because it works still. That's the problem. <laughs> People are still simple-minded enough as yes. they were 30 years ago. That they're like, that they... Oh, it's funny, man. We're doing... Grinded the pepper? That kind of SNL bull crap where he's just holding a pepper grinder between his legs on someone's table. Yeah. But yeah, like, I, I hate it when people are like, oh, my cat's a little baker. It's so <laughs> cute. It's like, I'm going to punch you. I'm, I'm going to steal you. your cat. I'm going to steal your cat. <laughs> I'm going to raise your cat correctly. Is there... So, we're kind of at the halfway mark. Um... A little over. So we talked about the pets that we've had, and the pets, the pets that we had, the pets that we have. Actually, I, I, I don't think I have a little bit more I could tell you about like the current cat. Like, oh yeah, you haven't talked about your current cat. Like Let's the, do that. Like the origin of the cat. Let's talk about your current cat because that's the last current pet we need to talk about, and then we'll go into pets that we m- may want in the future. Go. So like they're used to. It's now closed, literally, but the Englewood High V. If you know where that is, like there was a dumpster over on the side, over like where the Chipotle is now. Right. That's where I found the cat. Chipotle you found it. Found it. Is free. It a stray? Free, free cat. Yeah, stray cat. And we think she was the runt of the litter because she oh. had a bent bone at the tip of her tail. Okay. Like if you feel a cat's tail, you know when something's not right. Because mm-hmm. it's like so thin. It's not unlike a dog's right. tail. Like you can yeah. feel it because all those little vertebrae. <clears throat> there's more bones in a cat's tail than our own right, spines. Cause... Well, because like if you just especially and more bones than dog tails, because if you look, at, you could just tell by looking at the tails, yeah, it moves the, so the tail the the cat's tails move way more fluidly, while dogs are just like, I'm happy, but, I'm gonna mm, whip you with this yeah, this tail, knocking everything over. Yeah, but like this, so we found her, and I convinced my parents to take her because she was obviously the runt of the litter. She had dirt caked on her neck. Mm. So just like her I know fur where she came from, down. to be honest with you. I think I know exactly. And it's like, we used to have a friend that lived over there, or at least I was friends with him, elementary school. Like, there's this side street that's kind of a dead end that meets that exact behind the dumpster area. We, there was an area over there where I found all these other, like, black cats. So I knew that that had to be where she was from. But I convinced my parents that we needed to take the cat in. My brother was about three. And actually, we're in the car that I drive now. Yeah. So we're all sitting in that car, and my mom's in the passenger seat in the front just holding this cat and like we bring her home and she was living in the garage for a few days to weeks possibly and we like finally when like nobody came in to say that like hey that's our cat Mm -hmm. we finally were like well guess it's ours now we gave her a collar and just let her roam around the house she found a way to get rid of the collar yeah, we but, to this day have never found it but uh did you get her a new one ever it's been 11 years we've never no this is the one that is the parent. current cat yeah yeah uh, isn't she deaf yes she is now she had a really bad ear infection we found that out after we took her in brought her home and we got her drops and it was fine and then like i think it was actually like a whole year after that like finally we took her back in the doctors were like no ear infection took out her hearing it's Jeez. a good thing you guys took her in because she would be dead by now uh oh. So it's like, well, I guess we saved a cat from a dumpster death. Yeah. <laughs> so now we have this cat, and it used to be pretty attached to me. And then we got the dog. And then the when dog. When we got the current dog, that cat went right to Logan. Mm-hmm. She is attached to him at the hip, even when he does not want it. But all of a sudden, like in the past few weeks, I'll wake up and she is in my face. Hi. It's starting to <laughs> Just... drive my. Yeah. No. Hi. Like, <laughs> like over the years, it's not like every sparingly so often that she'd be right there but recently it's been like she's constantly in my face Mm -hmm. like this whole week don't know why Hmm. but yeah that led to the when the current dog came in he's his name is schnitzel if we picked up on that earlier but he's a very small terrier dog uh that likes to climb trees has cat ears actually he hasn't climbed trees in forever yeah there was one night gary pulls up connor's in the car and gary was like is that your cat it's this, this is, that a, is that a freaking cat it's this ma <laughs> hey ma there's this cat outside i don't want to start in a fight with lucy wait looks like so wait, grandma the thing wait you were gary took you home and schnitzel was in the tree 
No, no, no. no. <laughs> like in the, the doorway. In the doorway. <laughs> and Gary was like, is that is that your cat? And I was like, yep, that's my cat. You were in the car, and then you're laughing because you could tell it was a dog, but Gary couldn't. Because oh. there was a glare on like the window or oh, something. Okay. It was dark outside. Yeah. And it was just like... I, all, you, I saw was the sil- was the all I saw okay. was the silhouette. And the pointy ears. Yeah. So I was like, that's a oh, cat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and I was like, yeah, yep, yeah. that's my cat. And it's not wrong. He's a very Cat-like weird dog. dog. Yeah. But he's grown since we've got him. So like we think he was younger than what the pet place said. Because he was really little. And they were like, oh, yeah, he's like four years old. <laughs> like, no. No, he's not. No. <laughs> he's definitely not. We think some old lady had him because anytime that we see old women relatives, mm-hmm. he is attached to them. He leaves my dad. My dad is his person, and he leaves him to go sit with old ladies. So we think he had a little old lady as his person. Has she passed away? Maybe? I did, or just we don't know. He was a him? hero rescue is what it said. Uh. So that means they turned him in. So I'm thinking it was an old lady that couldn't take care of him anymore. And she finally was like, I need, I can't do it. So for his saving need to go take him somewhere I actually so i have a story it's it's a related to animals and taking care of them so fun fact my aunt shout out uh, aunt rebecca if you're listening to this she actually fosters skunks really what? her shelter that she fought is not foster the she shelters that she volunteers at she, they do have foster programs and no surprise the most popular ones are cat and dog but they do like other animals and my aunt literally fosters skunks she had six skunks when i went out to california in may she was fostering them and they're all like little bitty about that big around they're cute but they do smell bad oh Um, yeah (laughs) and uh as a pet you can get like the little gland removed actually i think I don't know if it's um, ethical though. So it's well, it's, they, these get released into the wild yeah. after she's done taking care yeah, of them. Yeah, it's just like so she's not the, allowed to like handle yeah, them like, like a release thing, right? So it's like just... because like she uh, like a whole bunch of skunks die per year, like a way more skunks die per year than like other, other animals. animals because they get ran over. And... People shoot them because nobody wants skunks on their property, right? Uh, no one wants their dog getting sprayed with skunk, yeah. by skunk or their cat even. Um, even it's though bad, I think if a cat, cat got, a cat got sprayed by a skunk, it'd be like, are you kidding me? And then it would kill the skunk. I think it might. They're about <laughs> the same size, but skunks are a little bit more, how do I want to say? Meaty? Yeah. Um. So uh, they she like cut up mice and like a whole bunch of vegetables and then like pour like some t- side of m- sort of milk in like these dishes and she that's what they ate. Well, so like I didn't know they were omnivorous. Yeah, like I didn't know it's, that. It's the best way for them to survive, kind of like a uh, raccoons. Yeah. It's like if a raccoon, a mink, and a cat had a baby, mm-hmm. that's where you get skunks. Yeah. I actually, besides that, like a few months before that, I saw my first ever live skunk in the wild. Something scurried across the road on my way to my dad's house, and I was like, "What? That was not big enough to be or tall enough to be a cat." And I got up and I see its little tail. Walking along, well, as I leave, and I was I, as I drove by, I was like, "That was a freaking skunk!" Jeez, I've only yeah. ever seen those dead on the side of the road. I, the first time I ever saw like a possum, it was like like a live moving possum. Mm-hmm. It was the other night actually? Really? Well, not the other night. It was, uh, like October. I was outside. I, we had just gotten an Amazon delivery. It was dark, and because it was like Amazon running at night. Mm-hmm. And then I picked up the box and I look, and I hear something fall off my like you know my retaining wall and I just see a freaking possum just like parkour and like run across my front yard and we're like Par- parkour. I'm just like, why didn't you? I was like, okay, you could have just played dead and I would have went back inside or I wouldn't have messed with you anyway. I, I think that's like, what the possum probably knew. It was like he's not looking at me. I'm just gonna go. Yeah. Zion tackled a possum once. <laughs> I remember that <laughs> did he story. Kill, did he kill God, it? No, he just tackled it because it wasn't there when we got back. It, like I didn't have him on the leash because we were going five feet to my truck, and he's usually good at staying with us when there's not another person or another animal. Like he'll stay. Like if we're alone in the field, yeah. I feel he'll be by my side, chilling. You know, it's usually, or if there's like a group of people, he'll stay with the group of people. You know, right? Yeah. Um, like a pack creature. Right. Exactly. And but he just bolts across the street, and I'm immediately mad because he ran across the street, and I hate that. And uh, he walks over there, and he's standing over this possum like a Gaelic warrior. Like, <laughs> look what I just did, Gary. I did this. He's proud of himself, right? Like he's standing with one foot up on it, and like he's like, 
Look I'm, what I did. I'm a master <laughs> of the elements. Like, I was God so mad, awesome. but I was like, good job, but don't ever run away from me again. Uh, <laughs> Get like, in the truck. <laughs> I was so mad for him at him, but I was proud of him at the same time. But, like, I went back over there and wasn't there, so it must have just been playing dead. But, like, it, it bo- was, like was, he didn't put his mouth on it. Like, he, he just, just bodied this thing. Slammed. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> he just shouldered his cup. Right, I swear. <laughs> he did not put he his like, mouth okay. on it. Whoa, whoa. Like, just walked up to it and just... Because I was worried that the possum bit him, but... I mean, he would be fine. Right, because they can't carry rabies, can Oh, they? no, they can't. Yeah. They're, like, one of, like... That's, like, the thing if about possums. If you're going to get bit can't... by a creature, uh, let it be a possum. Right. Like, because unlike raccoons and pretty much every other thing... And they can't get Lyme disease, so right. they're pretty good. Or at least I don't think they can. They eat ticks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, But, yeah. So, we kind of done with this. Let's... We got about 10 minutes left. Say, talk about a pet that you would want to have in the future. Oh, my Lord. I've always wanted a bird. Like, there's different kinds of birds I've always wanted. I've always wanted a raven, but it'll outlive me. A raven? I'm pretty sure it might. They can live a long time. Mm. And I would get really attached to it. Just get a it. crow. That's the thing. It has <laughs> to be, like, a certain thing. Because, like, I'd love to have you a You just North want to American. send messages to people. I kind of do, you but... Be li- well, no, I was about to say, you want to be living like Edgar Allan Poe, but Edgar Allan Poe is kind of a pedophile. <laughs> And an alcoholic. Yeah. Mostly an alcoholic. <laughs> How do you mind. train a bird to take things places? Do you, you have sh- to take the birds to those places first? Usually you take the bird from that place, and it flies back to it. So, like, a messenger pigeon would be raised in one place. Like, how they did it in, like, World War One, I, I psh, beyond me. I know, like, ancient <laughs> times so that, like, you just, just had a string tied against them, and, like, when they went far enough, they just, just pulled it down. Yank it down. Right? <laughs> yank it out of the sky. You've been far. You are going to Brazil. <laughs> ah! Uh, but like you'd you'd the bird would be born here, you'd take right. it here, and then <clears throat> it would roost, mm-hmm. and then you'd let it loose, and it would take the message it has back to its home. Hmm. Birds, I, I've always really liked certain birds. I've always wanted to be to have like a like a bird of prey of some kind. Mm-hmm. I always thought it'd be cool to be like one of those guys that helps take care of and rehabilitates birds. So I thought it'd be cool to rehabilitate I just get owls. Get in falconry. Yeah, I'd love to be in falconry. <laughs> I was gonna say. I've, there's it's really that cool. sport is just so crazy that it, it does the fact that it even exists to me is just crazy it, yeah yeah like but, just the fact like hey look at these birds that i trained i'm gonna have it go pick that thing up and bring it back to me it's gonna kill that field mouse bring it to me right watch that, this and then it'd be so like cr- what field mouse and it, damn if it don't come back with field mouse I, I read this article once where this guy was like yeah me read what it was in a missouri conservationist <laughs> this guy caught a fish and whenever he caught a fish, he'd smack the water with his hand. And a bald eagle would come from the tree line <laughs> to get this fish that he caught. Like, Ayo, hey, thanks. I'm going to go back to my tree now and eat this. Okay. A bald eagle. Bald eagle. This thing is like almost seven foot wingspan. Yeah. This bird just flying at you. That's so menacing. Heavy bird. Like, so, like, he, he, he just... Splash the water and the yeah, yeah. Go. Just pick his hand up, smack uh-huh. the water. Uh, I, it was it was really crazy to read about. I mean, oh, I've, speaking like of water, CBD. but I've always wanted a duck. <clears throat> a duck? I've wanted a duck. My my papa r- raised ducks. I always thought it'd be fun to have a duck. I always wanted yeah, a chicken. geese are mean. He had a big inflatable geese pool. Aren't mean. I'm a goose person. I get along <laughs> with geese. I don't I would understand. punch a goose. Everyone has problems with geese, and I'll walk up to him, and we're like buddies. There's a reason and I that don't duck, know why. duck, duck, goose is the goose chases you. It's yeah, I know that, but I've never had that problem with geese. I've <clears throat> never had a, a quarrel with a goose. Me and geese. I just have don't like their along. poop because it's everywhere, oh, yeah, no, it's always disgusting. here it's, in the Midwest. It's really awful. I'm sure it's all the Midwest states, not just Missouri, but like there's something about the, goose the flocking season is that they just it's everywhere. They, they poop they everywhere. Poop everywhere. Um, like I have a few friends that they like pigeons. I've never been one for pigeons, but if you find like the ones that you're actually supposed to take care of. They're mm-hmm. kind of adorable, as much as I hate to say it. They're dumb little faces. <laughs> they're snoot. <laughs> it's hilarious. They kind of look at you like this. Yeah, they're, they're always like side glancing you like you're about to size them up in a fight. But I'm, like, uh, I will that's punch I, you. <laughs> like, uh, I didn't finish the thought. Ravens, crows, you actually can't have North American crows as pets. It really? It has to be a crow, or you're rehabilitating it from somewhere else. So yeah. that aunt I was talking about, uh, mm-hmm. she... Uh, works like so she volunteers at that place and then she works at this uh bird sanctuary where they actually take care of all like a whole bunch of birds she actually takes care of this one bald eagle that they they have and like she, there's this picture of her holding this thing it's pretty I've, cool. 
Bald eagles are it. my favorite bird, but and you can't own those as pets, obviously. Um, but I just think those things are rad. Like they're so pr- they're so majestic, right? But like that's that's the conclusion I've came up with with like wanting these odd pets in a way mm-hmm. was that I just should just become someone who helps rehabilitate or a zookeeper, right? So that because I've always want I I lo- I want a bear, a bear. <laughs> I'd love to have just like I just want to like, want to be bear. Grizzly Adams. Not exactly. I just want to hold a bear. I just want to hug like one. a baby bear. Just like hold it. No, like a massive, like eight, a t- eight to oh, ten foot tall like, grizzly bear. I just want to hug, hug it, it. Yeah. or wrestle I mean, it. Even I mean, grizzly like, bears, I just there's, wanna, there's places you can do that. I just want to throw my body weight into a bear and see what happens. It's gonna look at you. <laughs> it's gonna be like, <laughs> my dad knows a guy. Does this guy wrestle, hey, quote unquote wrestled a bear one time? And he like, <laughs> hey zookeeper, <does> this guy <laughs> want death. <laughs> so they had grizzly bear oh, out in California Zoo. My dad fed a bear once. Really? He wasn't supposed to. Was it the bear that, like, you f- throw a piece no, of bread frisbee-wise no. and he like catches a, it in his it mouth? It was like a restaurant-type deal. Oh, yeah? And, it, like, my my great-uncle owned it or something. It was down in Texas. And they had a bear? Yeah, they had a bear. It's weird. I don't understand Why? that part. I don't know, dude. It, like, my family has a... It's a weird... Your, fa- your your family just has a lot of interesting people in it. I, 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 some of it I still don't know. I don't understand the bear connection, but there was a restaurant involved, and they would feed table scraps to the bear. Like, they obviously fed the bear normal food, but yeah. this bear, because it was like the 70s, they mm-hmm. fed it just table scraps. And you're supposed to f- slide the plate under a door thing. Your dad was it's just a like, bear. <laughs> your dad was just like, hey, yo. <laughs> and there was no one there, and my dad was a child. <laughs> so my dad. Your dad could have just lost his arm. Yes. Like, Essentially, that's what could have happened because he opens the door, walks <laughs> hey, yo, in, what up, bear? and starts letting the bear <laughs> eat off the plate. He's like, hold the plate. As the no way. Goes, and the bear's just eating it. And he's just like, oh, it's a bear. And like, apparently, the person owning the place. No, it wasn't my uncle or something. He has a different thing. That's a bull. Way different. Getting the stories mixed up because I still think it was in Texas, though. Mm. And it was either in Texas or in Missouri somewhere, like Branson. But like, he goes to feed the bear and they pull him out. Like, they grab him and run. And they're like, you were supposed to slide it under the door. Did you not see the door slot? And my dad was like, I don't know. Bear. Bear. <laughs> Want to feed the bear. bear. Like, my dad constantly wants to just I, I just animals. I just imagine, like, a Logan-looking, like, version of your father. I'm, imagine something that looked more like me, though. Yeah. I look a little bit more like my dad than Logan does. But we both look like him. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, I look a little bit more like my dad, but my brother looks just like me. It's weird. It's a it's a head <laughs> shape thing. Okay, my brother has more of a round head. I have more of like a tube. <laughs> a tube. It's long. <laughs> I have a tube head. I have, I have like a the, rectangle one. I have the Frankenstein frame I just head. Have a normal ass head. You do. Well, Thank you're God. just a normal person. Like me. Like Gary's tall. I'm built like an ape. <laughs> You know martial I'm arts. Just short. I'm just. Sh- I'm, I'm just. Sh- you have to. Admit, I would make You're a good luch- short. <laughs> I'd make a good luchador if I had the right build well, going on. And see, on. like you know, like I was thinking, like I could do what my aunt does with skunks, but just with with bearded dragons, and like just foster them for a few months until I someone I can give them to, like some kind of place that actually sells them. That or, or someone who wants a pet that like but doesn't want to get them as a baby. And someone wants to get one as an adult, you know? Right. And there's a big world because for that. Because I don't think... Lots, I, of, lots of animals get disgraced, like, discarded really easily. Right, yeah. And you can't just let lizards go here in the right. wild because they, they will, will die. die. They will most certainly die. Like, if it's not immediately, it's when the winter comes. If, right. if, it, if it is not in Arizona, like these, they're going to Like, these animals are Australian. They don't, have, they don't, they yeah, don't know what snow is. My dad had some pet, and he fed it's it... It's kangaroos. Okay. No. Kangaroos are scary. Can- scary. Dude. They're, they're buff they, assholes. Their thing is they, they hide in water and act like they're drowning and they'll get you to come save them and then they headlock you and drown you. <laughs> and then there's they that, don't even punch you. They and just hold you that, under the water. And then there's that spider that hold, is, hides underneath uh, your, wind, your sunscreen, your sun visor. Hunts well, spiders. And, and also there's spiders Blue that hide in like piles of leaves. Oh my god. I hate I, um, well, I, I think always wanted to list go thing, until I learned I'm, that like, I love all these animals. Creatures. I want to put that point across. I love animals, but I think a bucket list <laughs> item for me is to just punch a kangaroo punch in the can- face as hard as I can. <laughs> like, you, I have a coat that's made out of kangaroo hide. Really? Yeah. It's well, see, but like, I'm not going to just walk up to a random kangaroo. But the kangaroo has to be like doing something like that choking your dog. 
choking my dog. That's a video I or, should show I you. Know, I've seen that video. My choking my dog video. or like has a hold of someone and I just go up and just deck a oh, kangaroo. It's, it's on site for dogs as well. I, I don't mean, know if you I... guys know that listening. That like if a kangaroo sees a dog, it's like my, its mind goes, then it's, how a, do... it's a dingo. Oh, it's okay. got a like, murder say, time. I was about to say then, what, how do they live with dingoes? That's why they right. do that. That's why they don't like dogs. They murder dingoes well, like, like it's nothing. The... So like I remember really? going. I thought I it remember growing dingoes up. Dingoes kill sharks. Yeah. What? Dingoes kill sharks. Dingoes kill sharks and kangaroos kill dingoes. So yes. Vice, so therefore, you put kangaroos can crew in a tank with a shark. <laughs> dude, kangaroos. Dude, their tail is just a big old thing of meat, dude. Yeah. No, no it's made to lean back on. It. Right. Because that's how like because it'll kick you with its little right. spike feet and murder you. Yeah. God, kangaroos so, are like very menacing, rem- and people yeah. used to kill those with boomerangs. Remember, like in Kansas City Zoo, that like. Whenever you're walking in, like, the Australia area. Oh, and it used to be, like, yeah. open? And it used to be open. Uh-huh. I remember one time. Well, it is still open. Is yeah, still the kangaroos, open. yeah. Kanga- yeah. The kangaroos are still free-roaming. Yeah. It's like the camels have to sit back, and they're like, camels are chill. But these yeah. kangaroos, they'll kill you. I know, but, like, yep. I remember, uh, like, one one time. <laughs> but, like, but if a kangaroo charges you, you could do a little bit to like, prevent it. Like if a, a camel like a, charges well, you, it's a smaller kangaroo. You're done. But, Let it be. But, like, this, I love camels. Like, a zookeeper had to, like, like there was a tour, like, a tour coming. And, like, I was just, like, there. I think it was – I don't know if it – was it whenever we were doing the volunteering thing in high school? I don't know. I don't know. We went to the zoo once, and there was a kangaroo in the middle of the path. Oh, and you guys did a thing with yeah, the zoo? Yeah. yeah. Was that yeah, with you? you? Can, I think it might have been. Okay. Because <laughs> there was a kangaroo in the middle of the path, but there – I remember the story a little different. There wasn't any zookeeper there. There were, And we were just kind of, like – <laughs> and and uh, me being the person I am, I was like, I'm gonna charge this. Ca- I'm gonna charge this kangaroo. I'm gonna oh, fight this. Oh yeah! And yeah. Like the kangaroo. Everyone there was just like, Gary, do not charge this kangaroo. We were I'm like, like, yeah. I'm so gonna wait. charge. I'm gonna square up with this kangaroo right you, now. You guys got to go to the zoo. Yeah. yeah. I went to a farm in KCK. That's what it was. Yeah. Because when you were was there this? the was second this middle time school or was this like early uh, high school? H- early high school. Freshman year. Because the second time we were there, that dude almost killed me with the axe by throwing it, and you like put your arm around him and like slapped him on the shoulder, and you were like laughing. And you're like, if you hit him with that axe, I would have killed you. <laughs> he, he like stopped and like looked. At Wait, what? What when was this? Second day, su- second super test day, because that's when we would do all the other crap. Okay. The first time all the students were there, we took down a huge, massive chicken coop. And the second oh. time, there was a bunch of other stuff, and we were taking down like a dog house. Okay. And there was like a bunch of us, and I remember Coach Trap was because there. I was with all the football team. Yeah. And you were with the football team. Yeah, because Coach Trap was like, "Wyatt, you're big. Go with them." And I was right. Like, okay. <laughs> and then later he comes by and he was like, "Who's lifted the tire?" Uh, nobody like wanted to do it, and he was like, "Zirkle, do it." And I was like, okay. So I picked up this tire and rolled it down the hill, and he was like, "I don't know what you wanted." I remember that. I remember those. But yeah, he almost killed me with an axe, and you just like. You straight up told him, like, I would have killed you. <laughs> it was hilarious. And Well, and on the note of me threatening people, I think we're out of time for Wait, this week's episode. One quick one. Connor, one quick what's one. a creature you've always wanted? Um, I, I don't know. I Any creature. A- any creature, not just a, something I you mean, have a pet. Otters are pretty cool. They're, all, they're, they're mean, pretty, though. I, what? They're mean. They're horrible. They're mean? They're really they're mean. Really mean. Aww. They murder beavers, dude. Never mind. <laughs> um, That's why I don't like <laughs> back beavers, bro. I don't. Know. I love beavers. They ruin farms, dude. Screw your farm. Your family owns land. How do you like beavers? I love beavers. Everyone that I've ever met whose family owned land hates beavers. I have never had a beaver problem. Um, My family has never had beaver problems. Beavers are a bane of muskrats. That's different. It's like a beaver rat. Well, Connor, while you figure yours out, I would say I want an American bison. I could agree with that. Just That's so you cool. could ride it? Just so I could be a guy on a buffalo? <laughs> Just like that dude that strolls into town on <laughs> like you could a bison? Rec- you could recreate uh, like a Putin pick. <laughs> it's just shirtless on top of a bison. <laughs> dude, I want a bison. Like, no I one's going to question you if you have a bison. No one will. I mean, the only question Challenge is be me. like, what are you going to do with a bison? Challenge me. I have like, a bison. <laughs> What are you gonna do? I have a like, bison. Have a whistle and it kills people. <laughs> I would. I would love. Have you that. seen the video of the lady that like, gets hit by a bison? Like no. it runs up and like scoops her. Oh, she gets thrown like ten feet in the air. That's awesome. It's amazing. I I, I love that. Uh, anyway, Connor, I, I what kind know. of creature you like? I don't know. Don't say I don't know. Figure it out. Honey badger. That works. Uh, I go. want a trained honey Dude. badger that I can go point and say kill and it'll I, kill things. <laughs> I agree with that. Not so much the honey part because those ones are scary. They are scary. That's oh, the yeah. point. But European badgers, they look so soft. They look nice. They look oh, like Wolverine. they're going to offer you tight. 
Wolverine would be cool. I, I, I want to see a battle between a Wolverine and a Honey Badger. I think the Honey Badger will win. I'm not gonna lie. Aren't the Honey ba- Honey Badgers are bigger? Are they than Wolverines? I think maybe. They might be. I don't know about weight wise. Length wise, I think they are. Because honey, like a Wolverine has a snub tail. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Honey Badger has like big wavy tail that's like you know it's coming. You know, foxes and badgers link up sometimes to help hunt, like help each other hunt. Yeah. I, I love badgers. I think badgers are rad. Anyway, on that note, I met a badger once. <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening <laughs> to this week's episode of Time Sweeps. Make sure to leave a like if you haven't already. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And when you click that subscribe button, a little bell will show up next to it. And you need to press it so you get notifications when we upload. Wyatt, what is the secret word? Bald. Bald is the secret word. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard him. Go down to the comments and type in bald, and we will heart your comment, even though we heart every comment. doesn't matter. Anyway. Each comment <laughs> helps us. It does. It helps in us in the algorithm. Each like, each comment, it angel. helps us greatly. Please remember to like and comment. Uh. <laughs> follow the links in our descriptions. You'll find our Instagram and Twitter. Give us a follow there. It helps on Twitter. We're not very active on there. I apologize. But Instagram, we will give you notifications on when things are happening. Just like with our past live stream, we had to give a last minute announcements. Yep. To like, we had to change platforms. And anyway, guys, see you next time. Bye-bye.